That's that's extremely young. Extremely, extremely, extremely young. And it's sad. You know, first of all, let me give my condolences to the family members of DeQuantis, Devante Lamar, better known as Rich Homie Quan. I'm not familiar with his rap or anything like that not that I know of. But um, the young people around here seem to know exactly who he is. Um, and he's rumored to be dead of a drug overdose. Which is just insane. I mean, it's, it's, he's so young. And we you lose him so young. Um, I want to give a shout out, you know, to anybody who has lost a loved one through drug addiction, uh, through overdose, because it's really hard. Uh, I'm still dealing with a friend of mine right now who lost her first son to fentanyl overdose. Um, and... He'd, he'd been up in his apartment a couple days before they found him. But he was given some bad dope because that's what they do now. They cut it with anything, and they really don't care about you. They just want your little funds. So according to the Daily Mail, he was scheduled or due to perform in his hometown in a few weeks at Nick Cannon's Wildin' Out alongside the likes of Waka Flocka and um, Nardo Wick. Oof, whoever these guys are. I know Nick Cannon, of course. Um, Dirty D. But, um, wow, this is it's really sad. I'm just sad because he's so young. And when I see young people leaving here like this, he ain't even get to be, I mean, he he's a baby. As far as I, how I look at it. Okay? I mean, that, that's how I look at it. This is ridiculous that our young men and young women are just leaving here so fast, so young. A representative um, from Fulton County, uh, from the Fulton County morgue, also confirmed the news of his passing. Online rumors of a drug overdose have been fueled by other musicians, but his family is yet to confirm the cause of death. Fellow rapper Playboy Cardi was among those to lead tributes to the late star posting several clips of him on his Instagram story. Lamar charted in 2013 with his single, Type of Way, which not 50 on the uh, Billboard Top 100 at his peak. He followed it up with Flex, Ooh, 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 and Ride Out. He achieved further fame as part of a group Rich Gang, alongside Atlanta rapper Young Thug, as part of Cash Money Records Project. At the time, he was described by New York Times as being part of the city's rising generation of young rappers. His latest single, Ah, Shy, saw him feature alongside of rappers 2 Chains. Lamar was due to testify... Mm. In the trial of his former bad mate, Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Lamar Williams, who is accused of street gang activity. Mm. So he was scheduled to testify, huh? Interesting. You know, I just can't help but think how many great musicians that we've lost to drugs, you know, 
Because when you make music, I just want to say this, and when you create music, it's really coming from a, a therapeutic space. And most of it, it comes out of pain. That's why some of your best singers have extremely painful um, childhoods and lives. So when I look at this, and I, I think at 34, what is his backstory? I don't know. And I guess all that will come out in the days to come. Again, my heart, my condolences. I have a family member who OD, so if I sound a little reflective, that's what it is. Um, I have a, I lost a family member to a drug overdose, and uh, a couple family members actually, and it's hard because it, it makes you always think what. What what would they have been had they not? You know what I mean? But okay, I want to know what y'all think. Please, leave your comments below and tell me if anybody um, knows anything more than what I just said right now. Please post it down in the comments below. Because right now they're saying he died of a drug overdose. And, um, which is very unfortunate. But if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, family. Wow. Just a baby.